Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Tensho Evolution Boxing Gloves. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Tensho Evolution Boxing Gloves. Got mine in a dark blue North Carolina colorway, which is dark blue in that baby blue color. 16 ounces in lace-up, you can also get this in 10 ounces, and they also have this in oxblood color, which is basically a maroon. This is going to be the second model of um, the Tensho brand gloves I've uh, tried in doing a review on it. I did a review a while ago on the, the original Tensho Origins gloves. Uh, which were really solid gloves. They reminded me of a, a Mexican style, like a Reyes glove, in terms of the, the padding being a little bit more on the softer side, more like a puncher style padding, um, and just the overall the design and shape of the glove had kind of that angular, um, boxier type of look that like Reyes has with their gloves, r rather than kind of that rounded look uh, like the Evolutions have. So uh, I wanted to give these a shot and see how they perform. Uh, I believe the gloves themselves are made in Pakistan. Design-wise, they use 100% uh, cowhide leather. Everything on here is uh, genuine leather. It uses a dual layer foam system. Um, I'd say that the density is very similar to the Origins. Maybe if not a little bit denser, but not by much over in the knuckle area. So it's not a stiff glove by any means when it comes uh, to padding. The leather itself has more of a satin finish to it. And like the Origin gloves and the other Tensho gloves, uh, they kind of go with more of a subdued look when it comes to the graphic scheme. So you do have the 10 in the circle that's embossed into the leather, but that's pretty much it in regards to branding. Um, another new, <clears throat> unique look to the glove is you have that stitched in uh, quilted look on the back of the wrist support. The wrist support is about an inch on the back of the wrist and about a quarter inch on the inside of the wrist uh, of padding on the inside that goes up to right here, as well as right here where the stitching goes across. You also have a satin nylon liner that has more of a mesh-like feel to it. It's not canvas, but you can also, you can definitely feel the texture of that canvas liner and it's very comfortable and it dries out pretty quickly. Another nice little feature and detail is going to be the laces. They're pretty long and give you enough length on there. They're flat laces and they also have the Tensho that is printed on in that baby blue color. Same thing with the stitching. They use that baby blue stitching on the glove, uh, hence the North Carolina colorway, the Tar Heels look. Um, the thumb, when I first saw it, I, I had a little bit of concern there with the way it was shaped. So I was kind of concerned in the way it would feel when I put my hand in there. And we'll discuss that in a second when I slide my hand in. You have a leather attached thumb, a really relatively large grip bar, and no ventilated holes. Quality-wise, the gloves, leather-wise, is very nice. Um, I'd say the only area I would be critiquing is going to be like maybe the stitching. In certain areas could be a little bit cleaner right here. Um, maybe the reinforcement on some of the edges could have been rolled in a little bit better. Um, there's the thumb it's the index finger. Weight wise, the gloves are almost on point. These were advertised at 16. I believe they came in at 15.7 and 15.5. So pretty close to their advertised weight. <clears throat> Stitching of the back of the wrist, that quilt pattern looks pretty clean. And the glove is really well balanced. You can see it's not a top heavy glove. So the distribution of padding throughout the glove from the top right here where your hand goes into, to the midsection, and to the back where the cuff is at. It is really nicely balanced so you don't have a top heavy glove that likes to flop around. So uh, really good in that regard. You can see that it doesn't have a lot of bend to it. And uh, again here, you can see the liner looks really clean as well on the inside, so no issues there. Um, comfort of the glove, sliding your hand into the glove. One thing you'll notice is it does have a little bit of bunching up of the liner in the finger compartment, especially in the top part, this top portion of your fingers. You can definitely feel that. Uh, I feel like they could have improved that by flattening the liner out and maybe gluing it to the inside foam. Because when you, you feel your fingers move in there, you can actually feel that the liner just kind of swims around and it's not really attached to anything. It's probably like stitched into the outside edges of the glove. But in this area right here, there's probably nothing that's adhering. Uh, the liner to to the glove so it just kind of swims around a little bit um, another thing i noticed is that you can actually feel the stitching right inside here um, and for a glove of, at this price point that it's at i would have liked to have seen like a piece of felt or something like a neoprene pad or just something to cover that stitching when you when you bite down with your fingers and really make a fist um, the thumb itself is on the tight side um, this glove does take some breaking in and I, i'm still breaking it in now but 
you know, visually when you actually look at the piping, you can actually see just how tight that is. And with my hand wraps on, um, just to kind of show you guys, I mean, that's just bare hand. There's not a lot of room. I feel like they could definitely improve that in terms of just the tightness around this thumb compartment. It doesn't give you very much room. So it takes a lot of breaking in, in my opinion. Um, the position of the thumb isn't bad, actually. I mean, as far as the way your thumb is positioned isn't bad, it's just this piping right here is super tight. Um, and when you make a fist, you can see that the thumb attachment does a good job and doesn't pull down on the tip of the thumb. So the length and the shape is good. It's just this piping right here um, definitely is, is really tight and uh, I wasn't really a fan of that. Wrist support feels really good and the glove is semi-broken in and it does take time to really break in, but um, overall, uh, not too bad in that regard. Uh, protection and performance, I would say that this glove um, is still a little bit on the puncher side. You can definitely feel your punches go through. What's a little bit deceiving about it is that it has kind of a rounded out punch surface, but because the layered foam they use in here is, is definitely on the softer to medium density side, when you finally do, like say you make a fist and you finally do land your shot, you definitely still land on those two front knuckles. So in, in li unlike like a molded foam glove where the foam is extremely stiff um, and it doesn't compress very well, this layered foam to me compresses much better and you can definitely land a shot. So um, I would say it's definitely in between like a punchers to a, uh, a medium balanced glove. It's definitely not like on the super shock absor absorbent protective side uh, where when you really land some powerful shots, you can barely feel any of that impact go through into your hand. So with this, you could definitely feel that. Um, so for sparring, I think it would be solid. Uh, for bag work, it's definitely solid. Uh, mitt work, you'll definitely enjoy it with these gloves uh, as far as mitt work goes, because you could definitely feel that nice feedback when you're hitting the mitts. Cost-wise, these gloves are $199. I still think that's a bit high, um, everything considered, when, when you're talking about the small details, the comfort of the thumb, the little piece that can go over the stitching on the inside right there. Um, I mean, the weight's good. Um, I think the gloves look really clean and, and they have a nice look to them. But I think the issue is, is not so much the, these gloves themselves, it's just what you're competing with in the rest of the market. I can think of a handful of gloves um, that I think could, are at least equal or, or better can outperform these um, at a similar price point or maybe even a cheaper. Now, if they can fix like the small things with a thumb, um, maybe offer a, a different colors and just make it an overall more comfortable glove without the liner bunching up and the finger compartment having like a piece of neoprene. Just like little, I guess you can say, luxury details that some other gloves have in theirs at the similar price point. Then I think at that point, it would be definitely uh, a worthwhile glove in that regard. But I think right now as it stands, a little bit on the pricey side for what they are. Not a bad glove, um, but there's definitely um, room for improvement. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Tensho Evolution boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.